Congratulations, class of 2018. At this time, to remind the graduates that they go forward from Middlebury with the strength and character of the college, symbolized by the replica of the cane, we will sing Gamaliel Painter's Cane. All right. This song was first sung 101 years ago at commencement luncheon in June of 1917. As with the student address, this song was restored to the commencement celebration in 2000, our bicentennial year. The text of the song may be found in your program on page 36. I invite Annie uh, to return to join us on the stage to be joined by Tevon Goldberg. Tevin Goldberg. <laughs> Annie and Tevin will sing the verse and chorus through once, and they will all join, and then we will all join in singing it through a second time. And graduates, the canes have a purpose. Be sure to tap your canes with the rap, rap, rap. Okay. It has become our custom to also present canes to faculty members who were awarded tenure this academic year, <laughs> signifying their honorary membership in this year's class. President Patton and Vice President of Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty, Andy Lloyd, will present the canes to these colleagues. There are 13 new members of the class of 2018. The following faculty members received tenure this year, but are unable to attend today. Luis Castaneda in Spanish and Portuguese. Irina Feldman, also in Spanish and Portuguese. Andrea Robert in economics. And Max Ward in history. And those who are here today, I'll read their names now, Tara Alfalter in Education Studies. <laughs> Will Amadon in Geology. Atta Anzali in religion. Yeah. 
Crystal Brown in dance. <laughs> Kemi Fuentes George in political science. Eric Gong in economics. Damascus Kafumbe in music. Jamie McCallum in sociology and anthropology. And Marcos Reina Madrazo in Spanish and Portuguese and linguistics. Quite a class. Oh, yeah. Please turn to the back inside cover of your program for information about the commencement luncheon and where to meet graduates uh, after the ceremony. And now, Middlebury College Chaplain Lori Jordan, class of 1979, who is retiring after 22 years of service, will lead the benediction. Please rise. Fellow Middlebury graduates, families, friends, and colleagues, would you please join with me as we still our hearts, opening them to wonder, gratitude, and joy. Gracious presence, you have surrounded this place and this season with the majestic beauty of your creation, with the green gold radiance of springtime. In your hands are the deep places of the earth, and the strength of the hills is yours also. Creator of all, you made us in your image. In equal human dignity, we each uniquely reflect your glory. You are the hidden source of our hope and strength. Your providential care and unfailing love have followed us all the days of our lives, and from your loving hand, we have received grace upon grace. Be with these young people as they go forth from this place. Fill them with wisdom to meet life's complexities. Lengthen their perspectives, deepen their convictions, and in every difficult choice, grant them vision and courage. Rest your hand upon them. Encourage their enthusiasm, calm, their doubts and anxieties, and be their strength in both adversity and prosperity. Giver of gentleness and companion on our journey, we ask that the bonds of friendship forged here at this college may prove ever more faithful in the days ahead. You who have been our dwelling place in all generations, grant that the homes from which we come and to which we go, may always be blessed with friendship, generosity, and love. 
source of all knowledge and wisdom, send us forward with your blessing, free from unbounded pride and narrow prejudices, such that all we claim to know and all we undertake may in some small way reflect the splendor of your truth and goodness. Amen. To conclude today's ceremony, please join in singing all three verses of the Alma Mater, led by Tevin Goldberg, who is coming back for a... Tavon, sorry, Tavon. <laughs> the text is found on page 36 in the commencement program. Symbol of his strength and truth. 